It has been too long since my latest corner hunt. Time to bring back the good old corner hunting days. Hello everybody, Quanker here, and I got a nickel box today. I'm super excited to hunt. I think it's the first one of the year, I'm not sure. I waited too long since any box. So I'm gonna try and open this live. Uh, it's actually way better than I would. Okay, maybe not. Just, uh, my... Yep, it's gonna be easy. I'm really hoping it's auto circulated. If it is, that's a good sign. That's... Okay, I think it's circulated. Yep. I'm pretty sure it's circulated. I just saw some older looks. I mean, newer looking guns, but... I gotta turn on my lamp so you guys could have better lighting. And what I'm gonna do is just bring you guys in for the first find. So, no talking. Let's just get right into it with roll number one. Quick update. I did roll number one and took everything out of the box. So I could put all the nickels in the, in the box. And this is the look off the top. I lost it, but somewhere around here in one of these rolls, there was a 1958 under. There's lots of new unders. But that's really it, and I'll bring you back in for the first find. Roll number two, I just opened it up, and we got something probably non-American. I noticed it right away. No American coin has that kind of edge. I mean, no American nickel. 1990 Colombian 50 pesos. Super cool, I've never found Colombian coinage. Nice little piece, and uh, hopefully next we can find something gold, or silvery, or buffalo-y. <laughs> Roll number five, and it was an almost under. Second coin from the end. It's worn, but it's a 1948 Philadelphia, and it's our first old find of the box. Roll number six, and the roll exploded, and... I saw this 1958 Denver nickel popping out. Roll number eight. It was reverse facing. And it looked pretty old. Denver flipped it over and it's a 1954. Pretty toasty shape, but it is a 54 Denver nonetheless. I think there might be something to check for. Let's see over here. Uh, no, it's the 54S over D. But, I'll take an old nickel any day. Roll number 15. I gotta admit, I already took a peep. That's silver. We've got a silver coin. 1945 Denver War Nickel. We've been slow on finds. And this war nickel has given me hope for this box early on and a Denver mint mark, which I've never found in circulation. I've only gotten Denver mint mark war nickels for my trades. Very nice coin to have. It's actually in pretty nice shape. It's got decent detail, strong Denver. Very happy to have this top find of the box so far. Now let's find a Buffalo. Same roll. I was sorting it back up, and uh, I took a quick peek at this awful looking coin, and it's a 1941 Philadelphia. Very, very bad condition, but it is a 40s Jefferson nickel. I will keep it to the side. Number 16, we might have two finds right next to each other. The two last coins in a row. The first one I see is a 1946. Philadelphia and the second one which looks old is just a 78 number yep Philadelphia or wait uh I was looking at the back or I meant mark but it's actually Denver nothing with that 78 but where is it this 46 goes on the board right over there roll number 20 we have a 1954 nickel from Philadelphia. I think that's our second one of the hunt. This one was a Denver. Roll number 27. We have a 1949 nickel. 
from Philadelphia. Roll, we have a 1955 nickel. Hopefully it's a Philly, which I do need. It's a dumb minted, but I'll still take a 1955 nickel. Roll number 29 and we have gold. Thick edge, which means it was probably gold plated, but if it's gold plated thickly, it's got some good value. Wow. 1980. Gold was cheap back then. Yep, it might not look too golden on camera, but this is definitely gold plated. You've got a gold plated nickel on the side. Same roll. We have an old nickel from the 40s. 1947, and once again, Philadelphia. I picked it off the reverse and turned it around before seeing the date and bringing you guys in. 47, right over here. Roll number 30, first Canadian of the box. And that coin kind of looks old, so I'll check it right after. Ugh. 1986. All the Canadian nickels I find are from the 80s, 84 to 86 mostly. As for this coin, just a 71 number. I'll bring you back in for the next find. Hopefully the box is heating up because same roll. We have a 1954 nickel. Let's check it for a mint mark. Philadelphia once again. Third one of the hunt. Roll number 34. Right over here. We've got another 1947 nickel. From Philadelphia once again. Same roll. I already flipped it over. But we've got a Denver minted. 1956 Jefferson nickel. First 56 of the box. Roll number 35. Yet yeah, another golden nickel. Or was it? Right over here. This one's not as thickly plated. Let me put it down so we could see the date. 1977, the other one was 1980 and thickly plated, way thicker than this one. But second gold nickel of the hunt, pretty nice. Roll number uh, 35, yeah, same roll. And this time, it's the only time I've never flipped the coin over. But I know it's old because it has a San Francisco mint mark. 1946s i think i might need that for my album i'm gonna check it and be right back oh i already have one in my album but just wanted to show 13.6 million it's not under some key dates i think those might be under 10 million but it's still a nice coin to find very nice still the same roll and we have a 1953 denver minted we don't get much Mint mark nickels around here, other than more nickels. Roll number 39, it was reverse facing, but we got a 1952 Philadelphia. I think that's our first 52 of the day. Roll number 40, and I didn't even see it by the edge. I do now, but we have another gold plated coin. Last one was 77 and 80. This one is 79. Maybe in these last 10 rolls, you could get a 1978 gold-plated nickel. Pretty cool to be getting these. Third one. Roll number 42. Slid down this coin, and it has another San Francisco mint mark. Which means it's going to be old. Let's see you did date. 1940 San Francisco. I know I already have this because I have all the 1940 and 41 PDFs. I memorized I had that. And I'll bring it back in for the next find. Roll number 45. Already saw it. It's Denver Minted. 1958. Second one. Roll number 46. I bring you in for yet our third San Francisco Minted Jefferson Nickel. All three have been reverse facing. Pretty lucky with that. This one's a 1941 San Francisco. I already have it. Same roll. We have our first 30s. 
Can it be my first ever key date? It's looking pretty worn. Fully. I'm gonna have to check it under the scope later. Right now. My scope's not uh, open. I'm having, I'm keeping all the coins that I should search for variety set aside for the end. But I'm very happy with the 1939 still. New oldest find. I stopped recording, looked down, and saw there was a 1956. This is an amazing roll. Three oldies. 56. Denver. Second one. Let me just go through this really quick. Just to make sure, yeah, nothing looks old here. Yeah, that's just a 64. Well, I'll bring you back in for the next find. Guys, I am freaking out. Roll 47. I saw this edge. It looked pretty odd. I took it out. And I saw 1945. I've just gotten a BU Wernickel in a bank wrapped box. Is there gonna be anything else? But no way. I just got. Oh, look! I think it like even has like partial steps. You could see that top step, and on that side over there, a couple of the steps. What a nice coin! I had a 1945s. I traded it away. I got it right back from a box. Gotta admit, it's not in the same condition, but it's still an AU to BU or nickel. Such a beautiful coin. Wow. I can't believe I found this. I am stunned. Total thumbnail. Wow. I can't believe it. Roll number 49. We've got a Canadian peeping out over here. 1993. I don't think I've ever had a Canadian that's not 1984, 85, or 86. So pretty cool. Second Canadian of the hunt. Hopefully we could get at least one more find or a parting gift. It's been three seconds. Just wanted to show this Denver minted 1959 I found. Well, that was all for this box and I could say this box was awesome. I did get a decent amount of finds, maybe a little less than average, but some of the amazing finds made up for it. We did get gold and silver. To start off, to start us off, we did get a 1939, a 1940 San Francisco, a couple 41s, 40, 40, what was it, 46s, so we skipped all the 42s, and uh, we, got, we got lots of the years, 47s we have here, 48s, 49s, of course no early 50s, those are hard to get, but then we go 52, 53, 54s, 55s even, which are a bit harder, 56s, no 57s, which was actually surprising. 58s and 59s. We did get three foreigns, two Canadians, and uh, now that I noticed this, I think it's slightly bigger than a nickel. Pretty weird. Um, 50 pesos from Colombia. We did get one, 2009. It was from Denver. We also did find a bunch of nicer 70s nickels they were all 70s uh maybe uh, 1980 here's a quick little peek at them all close up that 71 i might throw back in since it's got some discoloration that i don't really like but these are all super nice three gold plated coins two or nickels a 1945 denver and the find of the box is this beautiful 1945 AUBU San Francisco minted Wernickel. I can't believe it. I can't believe I got this. What a beautiful coin. Thanks for watching everybody. And see you guys next time. Peace out.